Good morning, everyone. Thank you for um, stopping by for another video. A friend of mine wanted me to do this video, and they had the reasons why they gave it to me. So, I read the email. I was disturbed. Really bad. So the title of the video shows, should show you something is mentally wrong with the organization of Jehovah's Witnesses. So I'm going to play the um, email I was able to highlight it and um, be able to hear it and I'm going to share what their thoughts almost word for word what they heard in the Kingdom Hall um, telephone hookup. So here we go. The guy giving the announcements at the hall was talking about giving out invitations to their upcoming convention. He says this, there are houses on the territory that are do not calls. Don't leave them invitations. The ones marked sex offenders. Let a brother go to those to leave invitations. So regular people that just don't want JWs coming to the door can't be invited, but they will invite sex offenders? My jaw dropped and I had to pick it up off the floor. Then I was disgusted. They want sex offenders to be invited. Now, that was disturbing. Can you imagine to be a mother who possible had a child was raped molested by a sex defender it would be like having a family of people that um goes into a, a buffet bar all you can eat and they make gluttons out of themselves this is disturbing but I'm gonna have to pull it together to make this video so Here's my thoughts on it. You sit in the kingdom hall and you heard this announcement. Everyone who goes out in field service has these cards, territory cards. And on the backs it has do not call and which I never knew uh, these sex offenders so apparently these this kingdom hall or there could be other king, kingdom halls out there I don't know just first time I have heard this so if anyone out there have heard this before please leave your thoughts um, so these sex offenders is on back of the card so I'm assuming two things I'm looking at this two two different ways one it could have been a pedophile in their own congregation or not uh, the other person could be they looked up on the internet to find out 
if there's any sex offenders out there so they wouldn't send sisters or children to the door of these sex offenders which that would be a good idea to know who is a sex offender by using the internet and put it on the time card these places do not send sisters but <laughs> but brothers are allowed to go to these doors maybe I don't know exactly what all was written on that that card so let's keep going so you're sitting in there this kingdom hall and they announce to do not call this don't leave an invitation now let's break that down could that be a member that fell away from the religion they don't want them to have an invitation to go to the assembly because it wouldn't make no sense to me if you're just going to put an invitation on the door on a stranger that don't like witnesses similar to me they would at least put an invitation to say look you know Well, they don't even have to say nothing. They can just leave an invitation. So, see, I see problems in this kingdom hall, which something's not right. But, who's ever in the car group, as long as there's a brother, he's allowed to go up to the, to the sex defender and open conversation to hand him an invitation to the assembly heck he might as well give him the keys to the kingdom hall the keys to the circuit assembly so it's you know sort of figure of speech to invite assist defender to a convention of thousands of people a bunch of them is children boys and girls that would be like a, a open buffet for a sex offender now I did a little bit digging and a little bit research. If they even find a sex defender so many miles close to a school, which one guy was, and he was arrested, you're not even supposed to be able to see children walking down your street. You're not even supposed to be able to wa see children walking to school that's how serious these for the sex defenders people <clears throat> they think they can recruit anyone to change their ways to be able to give a person a, uh, a new a chance to change their life around which I don't see quite a problem with that but the problem is he is a registered sex offender so that means this kingdom hall or kingdom house is breaking man's law allowing open invitation that's handed to him to come to a convention 
with a bunch of children. That this is a crime. You might as well give an invitation to go to a school for children. Or open invitation to a playground to for children. Or open invitation to be a member of a Jehovah Witness. This is disgusting. That's not the, the main problem that I was talking to someone yesterday. Was elders already pedophiles before they joined Jehovah Witnesses and worked themselves up to be an elder? Or was it something turn them into a monster? And start feeding upon children. And some of these elders or members of Jehovah's Witnesses has been prosecuted, thrown in jail. But Thank goodness for the governing body and the two witness rule. These predators are free to walk around and prey on more innocent children. So this elder can move from one location to another kingdom hall to another kingdom hall. And each time you're supposed to move the person's records. But they never put down in the correct words. These guys are monsters. Keep them away from your children. And they have a nerve. To go to the doors of these monsters the men in the car groups to go up to them talk to them say hey man we have a buffet children in our congregation come on in have some of this spiritual food that we have around our families, our children. Are they really doing that? And give an invitation? What happens if the sex offender don't have a way to get there? Oh, that's okay, Mr. Johnson. We can have one of the guys to pick you up. And we take you to the convention. Hey, we could bring you to the Kingdom Hall. This is about what this person heard. How this Kingdom Hall or other Kingdom Halls are doing with the sex, sex or predators. Monsters, sex offenders, how you want to look at them? The people that prey on women, prey on children, it doesn't matter if it's a boy or girl. And like I've said, you might as well hand them the keys. 
to your kingdom hall. Keys to your home. When a person goes to jail, be a sex offender, and we get he gets out, he has to register every year. He has to prove he has not moved from his place where he was living, because if he changed address and not telling them, he could go back to jail. But he, because see what it is, people can go online to find out who's a sex offender now, how many miles away from the house, and even shows pictures of these monsters. But the thing is, if you can go on the internet and find who is a sex offender living your area, how come? No one in the kingdom hall are allowed to know who's a sex offender among them unless he was already a registered sex offender by the police, by the state. So if a Jehovah Witness accidentally went on there and seen, say, Brother Smith is a sex offender. And no elder even told him in his kingdom hall or he even know Brother Smith. Do you know how evil that would make the watchtower? Not telling this brother that his children was even talking to him? If this don't to tell you this is a demonic, false religion, pure evil, the people, you're the one who has a problem. Because when I started waking up and realize, realize how evil this was, I had no clue at the time about the child molesting in the religion. I had no clue. That by itself should be enough to get families, friends out of this false religion. Because it would be false to me right then and there. They are supposed to protect children, protect women. From these evil monsters who's pointed, appointed by God. God don't choose pedophiles to shepherd the congregation. Only Satan the devil would pick monsters. To control everyone. Why would God anointed evil elders or even a person has the heart of a pedophile anointed him to be an elder? This proves God never chose men have an evil heart to be anointed to shepherd his congregation. So I hope this will educate you. And if you need proof, since I got some fans out there that say, oh, you don't give us no evidence. Proof what you're talking about. Well, Google Watchtower pedophiles, Watchtower sex offenders, 
you're on you you're on YouTube right now go to Jake control with a double K look at the ignorant gobbling body Jeffrey Jackson how stupid ignorant and his true nature how he is a bastard can answer simple questions from a, from a lawyer. These videos on Jeffrey Jackson has woke Jehovah's Witnesses up. If this man is anointed by God and in the one, three, four weeks, couple months later and say, no, we don't cover up child molesting. We never would do no such a thing. That man is a liar when the other one admitted that elders has the ability to rape children. And this this thing what was given to me I'm gonna play it one more time and I want you really hear it with your heart and get angry and get mad this could be the guy beside of you this could be the next Jehovah Witness that allowing to come into your kingdom hall to molest your children or your friends children or your grandchildren so I'm gonna play it one more time the guy giving the announcements at the hall was talking about giving out invitations to their upcoming convention he says this there are houses on the territory that are do not calls don't leave them invitations the ones marked sex offenders let a brother go to those to leave invitations so regular people that just don't want JWs coming to the door can't be invited, but they will invite sex offenders? My jaw dropped and I had to pick it up off the floor. Then I was disgusted. They want sex offenders to be invited. Figure speech, her jaw dropped to the floor. Oh, his jaw fell to the floor. Either way, this person was angry and this is one of the reasons why this person wanted me to make this video. Because they're not quite sure how to even make this when this person had children and one of their children got molested by someone and to hear this evil in the kingdom hall of Jehovah Witnesses Please, people, educate yourself. Jehovah's Witnesses' religion needs to be shut down. I heard a talk this morning, and I will be making a video on it. And trust me, you're going to like it. And it's going to show you how more corrupt they are. I give you a little hint what it's about. They say we got the tools to determine what religion is the truth and what religions out there don't have the truth. 
So stay tuned to that video. So y'all have a wonderful day. And rest of your weekend. Thank you very much. Bye for now.